Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and here's a good dose of unreality for you from the New York Times. A surprisingly, meet Luca, the ancestor of all living things. Talk about delusion, this takes a prize. Okay, uh, a surprising genetic portrait of the ancestor of all living things has been generated by scientists Say the likeness sheds considerable light on the mystery of how life first emerged on Earth. How can I do that and even prove this thing existed? This venerable ancestor was a single-celled bacterium-like organism. And it had a grand name or at least an acronym. acronym. It is known as LUCA, the last universal common ancestor. And it's estimated to have lived some 4 billion years ago when Earth was a mere 560 million years old. What a vivid imagination. New finding sharpens the debate between those who believe life science began in some extreme environment, such as deep sea vents on the flanks of volcanoes, and others who favor more normal settings, such as warm little pond proposed by Darwin. Yeah, slurp my coffee. Hang on. The nature of the earliest ancestors of all living things has been uncertain because the three great domains of life seem to have been common, seem to have no common point of origin. The domains are those of the bacteria, the archaea, and Eucharites. Uh, uh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Archaea are bacteria like organism, organisms, but with different metabolism, and Eucharites are. Eucharites include all plants and animals. Now, this is horse dung. I've gone into this, I can explain any number of reasons using simple logic why evolution, unguided evolution is a bunch of horse feathers. Well, I'm an agnostic with some deist leanings. Deists believe that there was a God that created everything and then he just basically said, okay universe, you're on your own, have a nice Eternity or whatever. I kind of lean towards that. Anyway, specialists have recently come to believe that bacteria and archaea were the two earliest domains with the eukaryotes eukary coming emerging later. That opened the way for a group of evolutionary biologists led by William F. Martin of Heinrich Hein University in Dusseldorf, Germany try to discern the nature of the organism from which bacterial and archaeal domains emerged. Our starting point was a known protein coding genes of bacteria and archaea. Some six million such genes have accumulated over the last 20 years in DNA databanks as scientists with new decoding machines have deposited gene sequences from thousands of microbes. Genes do the same thing as in a human and mouse are generally related by common descent from an ancestral gene in the first mammal. No bullshit. They're designed for the specific critter. So comparing their sequencing of DNA letters, genes can be arranged in evolutionary family trees, a property that enabled Dr. Martin is Colleagues have assigned the 6 million genes such a, to a much smaller number of gene families. Of those, only 355 met their criteria for having probably originated in Luca, the joint ancestor of bacteria and archaea. So, and this goes on and on. 
another slurp of my coffee. They talked about a bunch of technical stuff. I've tried to explain that in order to have life move from the sea to the land, there would have to be already organic material on land. I tried to explain, you know, about the basket, the uh, pollen baskets on legs of honeybees, which are obviously pre-programmed pre-planned by somebody, and a million other things. Even even uh, the spiders that people love to crush under their feet, they're actually far more advanced than we are in some ways. It'd take too long to explain here, but these people are just guessing. Kind of like the Mars stuff, they keep coming up with new stories. Well, unless we can travel way back in time, we'll never know exactly who or what put life on this planet. I tend to think, my own personal belief is that uh, we're guided by extremely advanced beings. Maybe not gods, but extremely advanced beings who from time to time put new species on this planet. It's interesting to note, despite what these people said, that if you look at all land animals, all advanced land animals fit into three categories. Avian, mammalian, and reptilian. That's about it, as far as I know. You look at all legends of uh, reptilians, most cultures have legends of intelligent reptiles. They could communicate with uh, humans. You know, what does that tell you? It, it says to me that we've had two competing groups, or maybe three, I don't know, who have worked together, or perhaps separately, in placing species on this planet. That's what I kind of, that's along the lines of what I believe. I think this is a colonized planet. I think we are a colony that was formed by an extremely advanced civilization. And basically left to fend it on its own, but I think they do check up on us from time to time. That's all speculation. Can't prove anything. But just, just so you know, as for Luca, screw it. I didn't come from no bacteria. I'm sorry. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.